Hey guys, welcome back to the Bayside Fabrication YouTube channel. Well, in that box there, I have a brand new turbo for my car and uh, I'm really excited about it. Not only am I just excited about having a new turbo, I'm excited that I am actually a new dealer for Pulsar Turbo Systems. That's right, I uh, went through the application process, I've been in talks with Pulsar and we were able to work things out and yeah, I'm an official dealer. So, first and foremost, if you guys need any Pulsar Turbo, shoot me a DM, I can shoot you a price, et cetera, et cetera, and uh, maybe we can do some business. I'd love to try to help you guys out. And uh, yeah, it'd be a really, uh, really good thing for both of us here. So uh, with that out of the way, um, I, uh, I wanted to just explain who Pulsar is, what they do, et cetera. So they are hands down the best Asia-based manufacturer of uh, turbochargers. Um, they are really well known. They are really well known for being high quality and they are known for, you know, being a more budget friendly turbo. But these aren't like the cheap, you know, $150 Amazon turbos or anything like that. These are actually really, really high quality uh, pieces. And everybody I know recommends them. Anybody I know who's used them, loves them. So they offer rebuild kits for all these and you know, everything is, you know, it's not just like you buy it once and it's done. You can buy different back housings if you need it. Um, you know, we can do all sorts of, uh, all sorts of stuff like that. So there's definitely a lot of product support behind this. And you know, as compared to like Garrett Precision, you know, Borg Warner, et cetera, et cetera, these are, you know, a very cost effective turbocharger. So you can go on their website, check out their pricing um, and get a ballpark for, uh, for where they're at. Give me a shout if it's something you want to order and I can probably help you out and uh, you know, we can, we can do, a, do a little bit better on price uh, potentially. So with that being said, I am running a uh, 6262G. Um, this is also known as a, in the Garrett world, a G35-900 turbocharger. So before we get into this, I do want to uh, say that the shipping time was phenomenal. I ordered this last Tuesday, which was the 30th. It was Labor Day weekend this weekend, and now it is Tuesday the 6th. So it has shown up in exactly a week, and that's with a holiday. Um, I actually checked on the tracking, and it was in Clearwater, Florida here at my local distribution center on Saturday. So, uh, but you know, Sunday and then Monday the holiday, obviously Tuesday was the next day it could be delivered. So shipping time was phenomenal. So I just wanna get that out of the way. Uh, you can expect these things right off the bat. And I also did the uh, T51R mod on this, which normally has a longer wait period, but in this case, I mean, it shipped out within within the next day of me ordering it. So that's a really good, uh, really good turnaround time. But let's unbox this thing and see what we're working with, guys. All right, forgive the mess here, guys. This is, uh, I've been totally slammed with orders, uh, so. Uh, much time to do this, but I just wanted to do an unboxing here with you. Now, when I say this was, you know, quick shipping, this thing was shipped from China um, less than a week ago. So UPS Air box seems to be in really good condition. So Pulsar is also known as PSR. Um, here we go, guys. Nice packaging, spray foam packaging. Whew. Do a little, it's got a little install guide that comes with it. It. We'll save that box to keep it in. So far, so good, guys. Okay. All right, guys, let's go over the specs of this turbo. First off, everything looks really good so far. Uh, everything looks nice and clean. There's no burrs, the machining looks good. 
no sharp edges or anything like that that I can see. Um, just the, so you guys know the specs on this turbo, this is a 6262. I, I ordered the divided back housing. So this is a twin scroll housing that will match with my um, twin scroll manifold over there. And this is a 0.85 AR on the turbine, exhaust turbine side. Now I also ordered the T51R mod, which is this. This is kind of the, uh, just the hot boy mod that, uh, it makes it whistle louder. It's kind of stupid, but I figured, hey, I'm gonna order it. Let's get all the bells and whistles and see how it goes. But dual ceramic ball bearing. Um, I mean, this thing spins as free as can be. No play whatsoever. Uh, pretty sweet looking piece, to be honest with you. We got our V-band center set or uh, exhaust housing here. So that's just a V-band that clamp that holds the uh, uh, exhaust on for easy rotation. We have our center section. This is oil and um, and liquid cooled center section, so you can run liquid cooled as well. And let's open up this little package here and see what we got. So that's just the uh, exhaust side V-band here. We got our gasket our divided gasket and our fitting for our, uh, for a, looks probably like oil feed here, oil feed fitting. So there we go. All right, guys, I'm just going to pull this compressor housing off. Just see how it looks here. I mean, this thing looks really good. Really nice quality on this. And we got no shaft play. Really good machining from the looks of it. And pretty pumped with this. So this is my first hands-on experience with this exact turbocharger here. And pretty impressive, very, very impressive. Well, before I throw it on my motor, I want to compare it to my old turbo just to see what kind of size difference we're talking about. And man, it's massive. Borg Warner S372 right here. I mean, just a very large package to begin with, let alone, you know, the diameter and everything. But compared to this, I mean, we're talking two very different units here. So with that being said, I'm definitely going to have to alter my intercooler piping and things like that to make this fit, which is fine. That's no big deal. But um, man, these are definitely two totally different units, journal bearing, dual ball bearing. Um, obviously, both are divided, uh, turbo, uh, exhaust housing, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But man, it's, uh, this is a monster compared to this guy. But this here is going to be a much more efficient turbo for the uh for what kind of power we're trying to put down um it's going to feel enormously better i know that for sure so this turbo exact turbo that i've ordered here with the t51r mod here which is this machine work um, on the compressor inlet this caught msrp is for 1149 dollars if you do not opt for the uh t51r mod it uh, retails for 949 dollars so these aren't, you know, the cheapest turbos you can buy by chance. But if this were a Garrett um, uh, version, it would be, I think, they're around three thousand dollars. So it, you save a ton of money, and the performance on these is uh, spectacular. Okay, so to just to review the specs on this, guys, this is a dual ceramic ball bearing center section turbocharger, sixty-two millimeters um, compressor, sixty-two millimeter. Turbine, the turbine is an inconel blade turbine. Um, so that's a really great material to use. On mine, I went with the divided housing. So you can obviously see that. And on these turbos, they offer these in a mirror image. So if you're running a twin turbo setup and you want to have a mirror image, um, they offer this uh, exact turbo in that, as along with uh, a bunch of other turbochargers with a mirror image uh, setup. So. Very cool uh, to be able to do that. And like I said, at an affordable price.
So let's get it on the motor. I'm very excited to uh, have this. As you can see, uh, it's obviously just a such a smaller package than this. It's lighter. Um, it's just going to fit a lot better. My air filter location and all that stuff is going to be much better on this setup. So the only thing I know I have to do is uh, this exhaust is a three inch V-band. So I'm gonna have to cone it out to a three and a half, not a big deal. And like I said, the height difference on these is different. So I am going to have to adjust my intercooler piping. Also not a big deal, but let's get this thing bolted on and see what it looks like, shall we? Okay guys, so you can see here, and I wish I had a before and after on this. This is such a cleaner package. I have so much more room to work with. Um, still plenty of room for my drain to here. Man, seeing this now, I could have actually, if this was my original turbo, um, I could actually have mounted it, you know, almost an inch closer to the block. But this is still good. My other turbo here was hitting my wastegate. My compressor is hitting the uh, wastegate there. So this looks really great, guys. I'm excited. So what I do now is just clock the uh, center section. And we get the sucker bolted in. I do have to buy new studs for these. You can see how this machine here, just uh, what I had before. Uh, that's not it. This is it. I before it, these flange nuts actually hit this machine surface right here on the edge. So I just need a uh, smaller diameter nut, no big deal there. But Take a look as to what we have going on here. As you can see, I'm doing some fabrication work uh, to our cooling system. Now, the main reason is this new turbocharger has a water-cooled core, water and oil-cooled core. Um, so I'm going to take advantage of the water-cooled part just because why not, it's there. And while I have the motor out, it's super easy to do all this. Um, so that's just two AN, six AN fittings in and out. Very simple. So the flow on this, um, on this motor, it goes into the water pump, comes out here. This goes to the heater core. This goes to the uh, hot side of the radiator. Now I was having a real hard time when I first got this thing going using the stock thermostat which is located in here. So the stock thermostat, this is a stock thermostat housing. So I was having a real hard time uh, keeping the uh, engine cool. It just kept overheating. So I just said, screw it. I bought this here, which is a just a universal uh, thermostat housing, just a two piece deal. And a Chevy 350 thermostat pops right on in here, like so. And yeah, that's, I, I installed it on the hot side coming out of the back of the motor and it worked flawlessly. So um, I'm just tidying things up a little bit just for service uh, as a service standpoint. Before I had this thermostat housing located right about here uh, with two couplers and blah, blah, blah. And it was just really hard to access and, um, and it was a pain to tighten up the clamps just because in this location, it's really tight in there. And so what I'm doing now is I just uh, re relocated it up here. I'm going to put a coupler, something like that, in between the thermostat line. And that makes it so this expansion tank and this lower tube that goes to my uh, hot side of the radiators up front, this can come out nice and easy. Because before this was all one piece up until where this weld joint was. And then I had a coupler. And as you can see how it wraps around the intake manifold, coming out, it was almost impossible to get this out without having to move the engine up and down and all around. And it was a kind of just a real pain. So this just gonna make it more serviceable. If I ever have to do a thermostat, the thermostat's right here, super easy to deal with. Um, I welded on a AN fitting and plugged up a couple uh, spare holes on our uh, thermostat or the former thermostat housing neck which goes right about here. So it lives in this location and this is going to be our return. Cause like I said, the flow comes this way. So hot expansion tank, front, uh, front left radiator goes through the radiators back 
And then there's a, the return hose comes up and in and into the stock thermostat housing. So my logic is I'll have pressurized uh, water flowing this way, T off of here into the turbo, comes out and goes back into the return right before the water pump. So the water, this is gonna be pushing the water and then the thermos, uh, the return will be sucking the water. So hopefully that should just be a nice loop off this system and I think it should work. I mean, the whole system gets pressurized. It's really more about flow than anything, but I guess we'll see, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be just fine. So that's what we're doing right now. That's what we're working on. And it's just one of those things, it's kind of, I didn't really have to do any of this, obviously, but it's just gonna make my life a lot easier. So might as well just do it now and get it over with. And like I said, try to get this turbo uh, operating exactly how it was designed to operate, so. Okay, so all we have left now is to weld on our turbo drain, which just came in today, and build just a couple hoses for the coolant lines on the turbo. And that's gonna be about that, install a wiring harness, bolt it up to the transaxle, throw it back in the car. So that's what I'm hoping to do uh, in the next video. I'm hoping to have the first start of this brand new setup there. So really looking forward to getting this thing back in action and uh, start making some power again. But um, in the meantime, guys, please check out Pulsar Turbos. Um, I'm gonna leave a link right here. And also I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, if you guys have any questions, find me on Instagram at Bayside Fabrication. And uh, if you're interested in purchasing a product or just seeing how much uh, the pricing would be um, from me, please just reach out, send me a DM, and I can help you guys out. So if I can help you guys out, you guys help me out, and it's, uh, it works for everybody. But man, this product seems really, really good. I have very high hopes. And like I said, I've known tons of people who run these turbos, and they are really, really good units. So uh, check them out. Hit me up if you have any questions, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks a lot.